What's up, people? Welcome back to Laguna's Guitar History. This is a special episode because we are discussing what is um, my favorite guitar. This is the Red Stratocaster. It's a 2014 American Special, and it's been my number one ever since I purchased it back in 2014. So it was brand new when I got it. The story behind this one, it was the next guitar I bought after the Razorback V. The Razorback V, um, great guitar as I've discussed, but ultimately did not serve the purpose that I needed. It did not meet my standard as far as what I, you know, could use for a live guitar. So, uh, my friend, we were discussing what guitar would be like the ultimate guitar the archetypal guitar, and of course, you know, growing up listening to rock and roll, there's always the Les Paul and the Strat, and uh, I kind of gravitated more towards the Strat because I've played Les Pauls in the past. My problem with them was the weight. I was a lot younger. I was probably like 15 when I actually played a Les Paul for the first time. Just too damn heavy for me. So this, ultimately, once I purchased it and got it, the weight is right for me. I like having the tremolo arm. Um, the Strat sound is a, a classic sound. It's rock and roll. So this has been a fantastic guitar for me. I love the versatility of a Strat. I love the different pickup position options, just the distinct sounds you can get from each pickup position. It's, it's drastically different. And that is great for me because I try to play a variety of of music. So I try to play a little rock and roll, a little blues, some on a little bit more metal side, whatever genre you want to delve into, the Strat will accommodate because it is a very versatile instrument. And I think that's why for me, it's had the staying power. And I think that's why overall it has had the staying power because it's just such a versatile instrument. So many different types of music use it. So many different types of players use it. It's the jack of all trades. And it's fantastic. So yeah, the story of this one, a friend of mine and I were discussing what would the ultimate guitar would be for me. And I was like, well, I'd like a Strat. And I wanted a red Strat. Because something about that candy apple red just pops. So picked this up offline as I've had to with, with a lot of guitar purchases. Because I just don't have great access to guitar shops where I live. So ordered it. It showed up, and I immediately liked it. It was a great start right away. Really got into it, and nothing's changed since then. I'm I I haven't messed with the my settings on it very much. I have my bridge floating because I like to have some pullback on the on the on the bar here. So that's a full step. I talk um. I'm going to talk about that when I bring up my other strat. This one's got a full step. Which is perfect for me because I just like a lot of range and I like to really dig into the whammy bar and I really like to beat it up. The great thing about this guitar is it can take a beating. Sure, you might knock it out of tune, but you can beat it up and you don't have to worry about it. it you, you know it can take it. It's a tough guitar. It's a utilitarian guitar. It's fantastic. I, I can't say enough good things about this guitar. Most of Plugs Out was recorded with this guitar. Um, the Jack Irons tracks, typically if there's an electric guitar, it's this guitar. It's my number one. It's my go-to. It's my baby. It's my Red Strat. Really can't say enough good things about this. So, let's show you guys uh, what it sounds like. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 